forget about watches and chocolates. The small alpine country of Switzerland has more than that to offer. In the cultural melting pot of Beijing, this Swiss restaurant manager is eager to deliver something he's found lacking in the Chinese capital, an authentic taste of Switzerland. We offer cooking classes to tell people about Swiss food, let them experience to do the food, eat it. We have our kitchens and I think through food you can promote the country very well. His menu features the signature classics of Swiss cuisine, such as cheese fondue, crispy rösti, a Swiss version of a potato pancake, Zurich pork ragu and a variety of sausages. But the relationship between China and Switzerland extends far beyond the taste buds. Switzerland might be a small, mountainous and landlocked country of just 7 million people, but its relations with the huge country of China are flourishing, especially since the two signed a free trade agreement which ended into force in 2014. The FTA was the first inked between China and the country in Europe. For technology and robotics giant ABB, which is headquartered in Switzerland and counts 40 factories and 18,000 employees in China, hopes are high that with President Xi Jinping's visit to Switzerland, trade will get an additional boost. For the future as a multinational company operating in China, uh, we support any initiative that is promoting trade and the establishment and operations of businesses, whether it's Swiss businesses in China or Chinese businesses in Switzerland. We are ideally positioned to support China's growth over the next years in areas such as energy efficiency, automation and digitization. For the Nestle Group, one of the world's top nutrition, health and wellness companies, China is its second largest market globally. We really cover most aspects of the Chinese consumer with our global Nestle brands like Nescafe or some of our infant nutrition brands, but also a lot of local Chinese brands where we have partnered with Chinese companies. And I think this is very important for the future that you're able to cover the entire spectrum from the products that are more premium for the more affluent uh, consumer, but also mainstream products for the broader uh, community for the broader uh, mass of the people. Switzerland is a champion of science and technology and has topped the World Intellectual Property Organization's Global Innovation Index for six consecutive years. At the same time, China has set innovation as a national strategy. The two countries last year signed a joint statement to establish a strategic innovation partnership.